Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, the 2025 Chevy Corvette ZR1. There were a few firsts for this new ZR1. The horsepower, the top speed, zero to 60 in quarter mile times. This is also the first turbocharged VET and is by far the most powerful production version ever built, not only by Chevrolet, but as an American car manufacturer. The GM engineers who developed this new C8 ZR1 said it was obvious very early on that they are dealing with something very special. During its first drag strip launch, this rear wheel drive mid-engine Corvette rocketed itself through the quarter mile under 10 seconds. During its first lap at GM's Milford Proving Grounds, it posted a faster time than the previous gen ZR1. At Germany's famous Nürburgring racetrack, all four Corvette test drivers surpassed the 200 mile an hour on their first lap. And the first don't stop there. The 2025 Corvette ZR1 is also the first turbocharged VET and the first production model to produce over 1,000 horsepower, 1,064 to be exact. This makes it the most powerful Corvette ever to come out of the factory. And for some reference, the last C7 ZR1 was good for 755 horsepower through its supercharged 6.2 liter V8. And even before that, the C6 generation ZR1 made headlines when it produced 638 through its LS9. This new ZR1 packs some impressive numbers in the torque department, 828 foot-pounds of torque. The first 800 is available at 3,000, and torque is also limited in the dual-clutch transmission through the first two gears to preserve it. The dual cam small block does share some similarities, such as their block design, displacement, and the exotic flat-plane crankshaft. However, along with the LT7's twin turbocharge that produced 20 pounds of boost has a host of unique parts. That list includes exclusive intake that is painted edge blue paying homage to the ZR1 Blue Devil, both port and direct injection, and stronger connecting rods, new pistons, head castings along with a lower compression ratio of 9.8 to 1 versus the LT6's 12.5 to 1. And the LT7 also introduces a useful anti-lag system to help maintain responsiveness. The Chevy Corvette has long proven it can play with the pricier exotic sports cars. It even became more super-like when the C8 generation made it switch from front to mid-engine format. Unlike every other C8, the ZR1 ditches the front trunk in favor of a flow-through hood that not only provides extra downforce, but also directs air through a heat exchanger. The ZR1's other cooling tricks include a duct built into the air sides that help cool the rear brakes. And there's also more cooling ducts for the engine on the rear hatch. The ZR1 also offers a convertible body style, but it's the coupe that references the split rear window seen on the second gen Corvettes. Every new ZR1 comes standard with magnetic ride 4.0 dampeners and a staggered wheel setup. 20 inch out front and 21 in the rear wrapped around a set of Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. There is also a stiffer spring setup with even stickier Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires that are included in the track-focused ZTK package. That package also adds front dive planes, underbody strakes, and are added for downforce, a tall gurney flap that attaches to the lip of the hood, and that massive rear wing. Those aero add-ons are available specifically through the ZTK setup as part of the carbon aero package. And Chevy says that all these aero bits provide up to 1,200 pounds of downforce and this new ZR1's estimated top speed of more than 200 miles an hour. And to bring this monster back to normal speeds, it gets a specifically designed set of carbon ceramic rotors measuring 15.7 up front and 15.4 out back. Again, a first, the biggest factory brakes ever set on a Corvette. And unlike the Z06's optional carbon fiber brakes, the new ZR1's are made of a material that is designed to last longer and deal with heat even better. To help reduce weight, every ZR1 has a carbon fiber roof that lowers the overall car's center of gravity. And because there's no such thing as too much carbon fiber, the ZR1 can also be optioned with carbon fiber wheels to help further with the weight and shed unsprung mass. Taking a look on the inside, the ZR1 looks a lot like every other Corvette. There is also the same driver-focused layout with the China-like wall of physical buttons still separating the front passengers. The digital displays include a 12-inch instrument cluster and an 8-inch touchscreen. For the Tiger Wood fan, you'll be happy to hear that the cargo area under the ZR1's massive rear hatch and wing have the same volume as every other Corvette and the same room for two golf bags. The ZR1 also has unique interior badges and plaques along with a boost gauge. Opting for the higher spec 3LZ trim brings unique stitching on the doors. The cabin can be had in a habanero color scheme and there's also an option for blue stitching. 
The 2025 Chevrolet Corvette ZR1 will go in production next year and will be built alongside the regular Stingray, Z06, and E-Ray at GM's factory in Bowling Green, Kentucky. We're told pricing won't be released until closer to the start of production, but we know the ZR1 will cost more than the hybrid all-wheel drive Corvette E-Ray. Personally, I'm thinking that this new ZR1 will start somewhere around the 169999 and a fully loaded will push it well into the $200,000 price point. Now, with that said, the Corvette has always been the vehicle that gives you a ton of performance for not a lot of money. But here, not only this new mid-engine layout, but for now with more than 1,000 horsepower, this is a serious contender with the big boys from Lamborghini, Ferrari, and Porsche. Obviously, we'll have to wait to see just how fast this is around the track, but for now, we can marvel at the gorgeous bodywork and enjoy what GM has created. The best Corvette to date, by far. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and let me know what you think of the new 25 ZR1. As always, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you next time.